the Adi Mantra. This is a mantra for inner guidance. It connects us to the source, to the Ard. It connects us to the origin of primal being. This mantra, in its shorter form, is traditionally used to tune in for the practice of Kundalini Yoga as taught by Yogi Bhajan. It connects to the source of those teachings. In Shakti dance, the Adi Mantra is used in its complete form together with a celestial communication to tune in for the practice. It connects to the inherent, aware flow of creative consciousness that guides us, also known as the spirit of Shakti. As a tuning mantra, it includes the word Namo. And Namo literally means name or vibration of a specific thing or quality. It also means to greet or to bow. And when we greet someone, or tune in to a specific vibratory field. We also need to free our minds of mental chatter. We need to become silent mentally. Because if we still have our thoughts filling up our mind, we don't have that receptivity to really embrace and align to that frequency which we would like to meet. So tuning in also requires that we release our attachments to our thoughts, to our obsessions and our fascinations, and that we surrender our head. So what are we tuning to? Initially we tune to ONG, O-N-G, Creative Consciousness. And this Creative Consciousness springs from that primal source of being. And it is the vibratory field through which that being expresses itself creatively and manifests all of creation. It is in fact the matrix of all life. It is the womb of Shakti. And then we tune to Gurudev Gurudev is the subtle, enlightening force. Guru means that which brings us from darkness or ignorance to light or awareness. And Dev means divine or rather transparent, subtle, which means that this enlightening force is inherent deep within all of creation it is subtly present in every moment accessible to all beings so all the mantra together the full mantra is Ong Namo Gurudev Namo Gurudev Namo Gurudeva, which means I bow, I tune to creative consciousness. I bow, I tune to the inner 
enlightening force that guides me. And then at the end, Gurudeva. This means that I have aligned and attuned and embodied these qualities such that they radiate from me, that I become a channel for that divine creative impulse of true being. So I'd like to invite you to join me in singing this profound mantra together with the practice of a celestial communication. That is a mudra movement sequence that sublimely expresses and embodies the meaning of this mantra. Sadhguru. Yeah.